You can change backdrop color easily in Capture One Pro using the method I'll show you in this tutorial. This is our original image shot on a blue backdrop. We've been able to change that to this color, this, this, and that, and any other color you can think of. What's up, Charlie? Welcome to Ghana Near Photography. Are you aware you can change backdrop color easily in Capture One Pro without destroying your image? I'll take you through the steps to change backdrop color in Capture One Pro using the color editor. This should be an easy step when done the right way. All these colors were achieved in post. We shot on this solid color, which is blue, and we've been able to change the colors in Capture One easily, as you can see. So let's delete all these and then start with our original image. So what we'll be using here is the color editor. Let's pop that out so we can have it in full here. There are other situations where we have complex colors. So with that, I'll have to do a different tutorial for that. But this is the easiest way to do it. So you make sure you have a solid color going through majority of the image. We want to change blue to any color of our choice. So the first thing we have to do is we need to select the color that we want to work on. So when you come here on the color editor, we have basic, we have advanced, we have skin tone. I have a different tutorial on how to use the skin tone tab to work on the skin tone. You can check it out. I'll provide a link in the description. You can decide to use the basic or the advanced. The only thing is the advanced gives you more options it gives you more control over the color you select with the basic you see you just have these colors to select from but advanced you can refine the range of colors to include let me demonstrate how the basic section works before we continue to the advanced so here this looks close to the blue we want so let's just select it and then move the hue to the left or right and you see it's doing that but then it's not picking all the blues in all the ranges that we want. If you look at this place, the color here is different from what's here. That's the reason why I prefer using the advanced because I have the power to work on the range of colors to be affected. Let's come here and choose this color picker tool and move anywhere on the image and select the color. Whatever you click on is the color that will be selected. So let's click somewhere here and it shows here the color that we've selected. As I said earlier, this gives you the opportunity or the chance to refine your selection. There is something here, when you look at it, it's view selected color range. So when you select it, it grays out the colors that are outside the range of the colors you've selected. So this allows you to refine your colors according to what you want. So you can zoom in and then have a look at the areas if all the ranges have been selected in this case it's um, a solid color blue and there is no other blue inside the image apart from the backdrop so it did a very good job on the go so this is very perfect otherwise we can still move these to include a wider range of blues or we can move it here to reduce it. So once we are okay with that, we deselect this and we come back to our original image and we start altering the colors. So here we have smoothness, which has to do with the smoothness of the selection here. The hue, which is basically the color. We have the saturation, how deep or light it is. And then we have lightness, how dark or light or do I say how dark or bright it is so let's start with the hue now with this you have plus or minus 30 that's how capture one made it it made it so that you don't go overboard it wants the color chain to be realistic so if you move 30 positive it moves it to this side so you see from blue it goes towards this color if you go negative it goes the other way so it's like clockwise and anti-clockwise. I hope you understand it. So let's go back to the beginning. If you move to the right, it moves this way. And then if you move to the left, 
it moves that way. So if we want to get to red, we will have to move this way first. Then if this is not a color we want, we want to move it to red, then we have to select the picker. Pick this color again. See, it gives us a second point. Then we drag the hue towards that. So you see, by doing this the second time, we are getting close to red. We are still not there yet. So we will still select a third point and then drag it more. So you see, we are getting close, very close to the red we want. So as I said earlier, you can only move plus or minus 30 at a point. So the trick is you create more points so you can move further away from your selection towards the color you want. So if this is the color you want, then we can leave it here. Otherwise, if you want to go closer here, then we can pick one more and then add it. So you see now we've moved to this place. So if this is the desirable color that we want, we keep it there. Otherwise, if you realize, okay, let's go back one step. You can delete these points as well. So just select it and then delete. It's gone. We are back to our color. So this is for this color. If we are okay with it, we just export and we are good. Now let's say we want green. We can continue adding and then we we'll eventually get to green. Or we can just delete these ones and then start from our first one. So now we go opposite because green is closer here. So we don't want to go all around here before getting to green. We can just go maybe two or three times to get to green from here. So this is the first one. It takes us here. We create a second one. Move it towards green. See, we are somewhere here still. So let's select one more and then move it here. We are getting to green. So over here, if you realize the saturation is not that much for us, we can decrease it or increase it. See what's happening? And then also the lightness, whether you want it dark or we want it bright. See, this is so awesome. And this is non-destructive because whatever you've done, you can undo it. Using these sliders will alter the color you selected for you. So let's just work on these. And this is what we have. If we are happy with this, we keep it as it is. Otherwise, if you want to create a different variant so that we can match the two and see what happens, we can just come here, clone it. Yes, yeah, so here, let's um, reset this. So it will be our original. And then let's clone this which takes us back to the beginning. So let's say we want to give this um, something purple. Let's select it. Then we move to the right. This is okay for us. So let's duplicate it, clone. And then we want to make this purple deeper or something. We want to move closer to red. Select it again and then move one step to the right. Um, the color isn't deep enough, so we want to make it a bit deep. So we go this way, see? Yeah, this is hotter. Then we may decrease it here or add it. Oh, hot pink. So let's go down here a bit. Yeah, we are good with this. We want to go a bit further. So we just clone it, then add one more point and we increase it. So this gives us red. So we can make it brighter or darker. Okay, so let's just make it a bit brighter here. Then we increase the saturation or decrease it. You can do anything you want just to achieve the perfect result you want. So this is another one. Let me take this here so you can see everything well. Now let's put all together. So we just, this one backdrop, We've been able to get all these colors and it's endless. You can get any color you want, provided you know what you're doing. So this helps you save some money. Instead of buying different colors of backdrops, you can just get one or you can get specific 
colors and then you use the color editor in capture one pro to tweak them so you get different colors go ahead and try this out and let me know in the comment section if this has been helpful don't forget to like this video and share it with someone you know will benefit from it subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified anytime there's a new upload i hope this has been informative for you and i'd like to thank you for watching Thank you.